Local 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. Former Detroit City Council President and TV anchor Charles Pugh has been charged with multiple counts of criminal sexual conduct tonight. Good evening. It tops our news at 11. Pew is already on the hook for $250,000 in restitution he needs to pay a victim from his so-called Leadership Academy at the Frederick Douglass Academy. No criminal charges were filed in that case. Yeah, but this is new tonight. Now, the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office has charged Pew with multiple counts of criminal sexual conduct with a child between 13 and 15 years old. This dates back more than 10 years. Let's get right to Mara McDonald. She is live at City Hall tonight. Mara, things just went from bad to worse for Charles Pugh. You know, Carmen, he up until this point has managed to dodge any sort of criminal charges, but we knew back in late November of last year that DPD Special Victims Unit was interviewing new potential victims. These are young men who had just come forward and said that Pugh had engaged in inappropriate behavior with them. And tonight, Apparently, the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office believes they've got enough to charge. It is a spectacular fall from grace. Pew was well known from his time on TV and then took the political sphere by storm in Detroit to become the city council president. But there were always rumors and innuendo that dogged him that he inappropriately treated young boys he was supposedly mentoring. Court records showed what that mentoring in some cases looked like. One young man claiming Pew's mentoring consisted of having him clean his condo shirtless. Pew lost a federal lawsuit against him by a young man who said Pew was grooming him for sex under the guise of mentorship while he was a DPS student, a case where no criminal charges were ever filed. But tonight, after DPD's Special Victims Unit started interviewing multiple young men back in November who said they were Pew's victims, the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office has leveled six criminal sexual conduct charges at Pew going back to the year 2003 and all pertain to a boy between 13 and 15. Back here live, you will remember that Charles Pugh packed up in the middle of the night and got out of Detroit and really has not been back since. The last we knew, he was living in New York City and was working as a waiter. We are live downtown tonight. Carmen, Steve, back to you. Any word from the prosecutor's office as to why they, it took so long to file these charges? I think, Carmen, that the situation is this, that once that young man who sued Pew federally mm -hmm. came out, said what had happened, and I mean, all those court records just came spilling out, that was the catalyst that had um, other victims decide that they wanted to come forward and they wanted to tell their stories. All Back right. to you. We'll certainly stay on top of it. Armar McDonald reporting for us live.